Our real legends, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game. We're back. I'm alive. Somehow, after eating 14 Kinder Eggs. <laughs> I will admit, um, didn't feel too great afterwards, and I'm kind of glad that I stopped at 14. But I do now have, like, a lifetime supply of Kinder Eggs. So, we are in Jurassic World the game. Why are we in Jurassic World the game? Well, if we have a look at our missions... Ooh, well, didn't realize I even did that. Oh, well, there you go. I participated, apparently. Uh, if we go into this, we only have one mission left to get. But, because we are just over halfway, basically, there is no point really getting that. It's 400 and... Do we really need 400 when we've got how much? We've got... What was it? 11,800. Ooh, look at that little bit of hair. So we're going to unlock it. And there it is, the new boss unlocked the flying purple birdie. Uh, can we not put it near the other ones? Ooh, oh God, they are so big. No wonder. No wonder we need... Oh yeah, that's really the only place I can put it for now. Good Lord, and all that XP is wasted. Oh, we got some coin there, like one. So what is this guy? Valkyrie 77. Ah, oh, sweet. So let's see the animations, okay. So it kind of has the same as... The, um, the regular, regular Trandons where it kind of glides. Yeah, I think it's probably the same animations. I wouldn't be surprised. What about its annoyed animation? Is that the same? Goes, yeah, in fact, it even sounds like a Trandon. <laughs> Would you believe it? So, uh, what do we got? We got a little fact. Oh, a hundred bucks just for unlocking it. So that's good. This fearsome genetically modified Trandon claims the skies over Jurassic World as its own. So we're starting to make like a Godzilla law for these kinds of creatures, basically. That's what we're doing. Um, but we also... Oh, no, hold on. We can actually boost it um, a little bit because we still have 2,820. I want to see what happens to my missions. Oh, okay, they're just gone. I thought that would be the case. So we're not going to get that. And I had a feeling it was going to disappear. But I'm not too fussed about that. I'd already kind of mentally prepared to lose that 400. But we still have other missions to get. So that's it is not too bad. Um, but I kind of want to level this guy up. So level one, level two, level three, level four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, that cost me a thousand, I think that was. Oh, whoa. Okay, hold on. I just want to see it's like leveling up animation. That looked sweet. I love the electricity that goes around. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. Okay, how far can we get it? Level 20? Oh, level 19. Level 19. What I could have done... Well, we do get another 100 bucks, so it's not too bad. It's with VIP points. Um, we could have given that actually to Juggernaut. Um, now, we had 2,000 odd, didn't we? So we could have got it to, like, level 30 odd? Probably should have done that now that I think about it, but I can't take it back. <laughs> Can you actually sell this guy? Okay, you can't sell it. I was going to say... Do you get stuff back? Imagine you just got coin or something ridiculous. Well, now that we've done that, so what is on the cards? We have a battle for survival pack, which honestly is really not hard, so we may as well do it. Um, yeah, that'll do. You put in two creatures. I put in me... I should get two of these, actually. Um, there is also a new hybrid in the game. I think it's the, um, the Gigantocephalus, uh, like, super hybrid. But... You can't actually get it. Um, but of course, there's there's YouTubers already who have maxed it and stuff, um, which is, is kind of interesting to me. The Ludia knows of these people, and yet it's like, yeah, whatever. We said we were gonna, you know, punish or you know, delete people's accounts or ban them or whatever. Yeah, they're still doing it. So, I mean, that's the thing, though. What can you do? It it feels like with Jurassic World Alive. Ludia are a lot more strict on the rules that you can, that they can kind of impose. But for whatever reason, in Jurassic World, the game, it's like, they, they can't really do too much. Um, I mean, like I said, if they wanted to, they could go the route of, um, like, uh, striking people, uh, like, their videos, um, as a way to deter them. Because if you get a copyright strike on your video or your channel, you have about a month and then it disappears, which is good because it used to not be that. It used to be like, okay, you got a strike, that's it. You kind of keep that and then two more and you're out. But now I think there's a there's a time limit. So if you re-offend within quick succession, then you might get, you know, you might lose your YouTube channel. And really, even for the people that hack the game, I wouldn't want to see them use their YouTube channel, especially... 
you know, if it's a source, of, like their source of income, they should be smarter about it, to be honest, uh, and know that that could be a thing that happens. You hack a game that goes against terms of service. And we've seen in the past, like people, uh, other YouTubers and stuff that have hacked uh, or shown glitches in other app games. I know Clash of Clans was really like brutal about it um, and banned people playing their game. So it's like, oh God, ooh, we're glitching around there. Do you see that? That was beautiful. Uh, so it, it can, it, it could happen in Jurassic World. Um, I mean, if you hack the game, I think you just got to come to terms with, I could lose my account at any second. Um, and it, definitely that was the thing with Jurassic World Alive. Um, the, the weird thing is, though, the, the people who have hacked Jurassic World the game also hacked Jurassic World Alive at the beginning. But Ludia is like, they don't either they don't know that or they're just pretending that they didn't see it because they're not doing it now. Because um, I remember the same people who hacked Jurassic World the game when Jurassic World Live came out, they were putting up videos, unlocking all the creatures or, you know, uh, spoofing and like just going across the map while recording, which is impossible. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, well, it's not impossible, but especially they're playing on desktop and desktop like shows a bigger screen. So it's like, well, they, they definitely did it, but they apparently didn't get any... Um, any reprimand didn't get reprimanded for it which is interesting um oh yeah we're still doing this one oh my god we did one battle uh so yeah we'll do that one that's good that's good i think we killed one yeah i need one more um ah oh, of the uh Alang is it alangasaur the common one the carnival i need one more of those and then this pack is easy easy do i really want food eh, kind of okay but you get vip points for the pack and that's pretty much what I want. That's pretty much what I'm after. And you get like little bits of DNA here and there. Um, we'll do one more here. And that's it. Pretty much. Pretty much done. Uh, go for one reserve and then just go all out attack. In fact, I feel like I could just go all out attack. I don't really need to bother um, trying to think of a tactic here. Oh, you cheeky bugger, you. Right. So, yeah, we won. We won. I mean, we weren't going to lose. Um, and actually, in the game right now, there is Albertosaur. I think it's Albertosaur's just been released. Or like it's a tournament and oh my god. Oh, oh, I hate it. Like I can so understand why people hack these games because it is so grindy, ridiculously grindy. Um, <laughs> and I, I was up for like an extra two hours last night, just in bed. I just stuck something on, on YouTube and whatever and uh, just constantly did battles over and over. And I think I did like 11, 12, 12 battles. Um, and you can't speed up because it's supposed to be PvP, so you, you, you're supposed to PV, you can't speed up a PvP battle. Um, but I only got like 200. I don't know what it was. It wasn't that much. The weird thing is, right, on this, if I play on my iPad, and I, I want to actually say thank you for Lydia because they did something really cool. Um, if I play on my iPad and I do the PvP battle, sorry, the daily missions, I actually win a pack. But for whatever reason, if I do it on my iPhone, I can collect the reward for doing all the missions, but I don't get a reward. So it's just empty. Um, and I think this is a glitch. They're probably addressed in like a, a foreign update or something like that. I'm, 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 I would imagine that they had. It's quite a big thing. Um, but, oh, come on. <laughs> Damn it. But um, I came into this game after uh, putting up a video mentioning it. So thank you, Ludia. You must have watched through my whole video because I don't think I mentioned that at the start. Um... But, oh god, oh, put the finger in the middle, not so good. Ah, that's not bad, that's not bad. Is that 10? 10. Yeah, so when you do a code 19 on your phone, on my phone, I, would, I can actually choose what DNA I win from a code 19. Or at least I, it, it gives me the option, but I can't select the different DNA. Uh, on iPad, it doesn't let you. Um, and iPhone, I can't collect the, I can't, if I go on here, that complete all daily missions on iPad, I see the reward. But on friggin' iPhone, um, it's just an empty thing. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I accidentally collected it again last night. And I was like, god damn it. <laughs> so what I have to do, is on my phone, I do all the missions. And then I switch to iPad to collect the pack and then switch back to phone. Uh, because on my phone, I can go on to PvP battles and, you know, enter, quickly close the app, reopen it and just skip it. Uh, but on iPad, I can't. Even if I close the app while doing a PvP battle, it'll just open back up. Weird, weird that just the different software thing, like issues, I assume that uh, like they just have to work around. It's quite interesting. So here we are, shake the earth. I've got 300, sorry, I did 
well, it was 20 for each battle, so it was about 15 battles I did. Um, and still only on Survivor League. Yay. <laughs> Good lord. And I don't even want to know, man. It's probably going to be 2,000 cups. So you have to do like 100 battles. Win 100 battles minimum. Probably even more. And I've only done 15. So I'm probably going to spend... Three hours or something ridiculous today. Maybe even four hours just straight, like, trying to do this. Because I, wa I want it. I want to win it. I want to do it. I don't know why Ludia... Like, when Ludia makes these week-long events, you look and you go, Oh, no. But it does give you extra time, I suppose. But the thing is, the, the you know, the, the level's a lot higher. So we got a new boss here. Um, I don't know. What, what missions do I need? Because I want to try this. And I also want to use the Trandon. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, let's let's use the Trandon. So let's use Trandon. Uh, in these boss events. Um, now, the rewards for this are not very good. And every one is just one entry. So, you kind of want to use Omega 9 Because there's no point in me using Valkyrie. Because it's just going to... I mean, I don't think she plays um, Jurassic World the game. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's, it's 20 bucks. And... Oh, it has, oh, level 30 plus? Oh. Oh. So we got this one. So what are the rewards for this? 20 opponents and just dinosaurs. And rewards for this one is card packs. 19 opponents. So I assume that this one's a lot harder and this one's easier. So let's do this one with Valkyrie. May as well. Oh, it's outside. Oh, I like that. Let's go for an attack. I want to I see all the attack animations. And actually... Are they the same, like, level, like, eight attack animations as they have when you fight them as bosses? Because, like, I don't know. And you know what would be really good about these bosses? Is that you get, like, one free revive if it gets defeated. Um, that would, oh, that would just be, that's just, like, a unique thing that, like, most dinosaurs in this game, once they die, they die. That's it. Um, but with the bosses, oh, they get, like, a free revive. And, you know... I thought if you maxed it to level 40, you'd be able to use it in regular battles. You can't. Um, which is a bit of a shame. But that would be a unique thing to put in. Like, oh, when they're level 40, you know, you spent loads of uh, boss DNA on it. And once you have, um, you get to use it as a regular dinosaur. But it has a perk. You get a free revive if it dies. I don't know. Hi, you made Ludia. <laughs> I'd say that was pretty sweet. Um, but then again, to do my own horn a bit too much. Monolololololosaurus. So onto level three, and it is one, two, three, four, five, five defeats. But this isn't looking too bad at the moment. I think we've defeated four, and we're still on res. I think I could go for that. I think he's probably only got one block. Oh, he's caught three blocks. Never mind. God, it looks absolutely nuts when you speed up that attack. Um, oh, goes for one. Oh, a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Um, one, one, two. I, it's always better to go for, like, factoring in two. And there you have it. It's always the best. Always the best. The best. Yeah, look at that. Four increase in attack. Not bad. Ooh, one, one. No, it's okay. That's okay. I, I got this. I got this. Come on, Valkyrie. Come on, Valkyrie. We got this! It's weird, isn't it? When you think about it. Like, I don't know. Like, L Lydia seems to have predicted a lot of things, or at least a lot of things they put in their game have become things. So, Code 19 was in the game way before, you know, COVID was ever a thing. Uh, however, <laughs> maybe they knew. Da -da. <laughs> oh no! Did Ludia know? They're behind it! <laughs> joking, I'm joking. Um, and then Valkyrie as well. I think Valkyrie was a thing before she was even a, a even a streamer. Um, so I'm wondering what else is in these Ludia games that uh, will be a thing in the future. Lord knows. But then again, it's, it's, it's you could say it's coincidence. I don't believe it. I think they know. They know too much. And maybe I know too much. And I'll be disappeared in a second. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we're doing good. We're, we're halfway. And we're still only on, like, 93 attack. I don't think we're going to do it. Um, just because we're level 19. Uh, if we're level 40, oh, we, we'd have so much extra health at this point. 
just gonna go for three. I'm, oh, oh, I should've went for four. You fool, James. But I have one block, so if he does go for full-on six, at least he's only going to get hit by five. However, that's going to be a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, he's got two block. And what do we do, guys? We always factor in two block. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's right, fall. Fall, you fool. What's that, Ramparinkis? Okay, can we get the gold? Can we at least get the gold? It's like five each now. Um, always factor in. I'll, I'll always factor in. Factor in two. And there you have it. It's, it's just the safest. You factor in one, chances are they, you know, if, if they go for two, it's annoying and noisy. I was like, ah, oh, come on, one more. If you go for two, you factor in two. It's like, oh, that was a good, that was a good amount. That was a good amount to factor in. You factor in three. Wow, that's crazy. Don't do that. Uh, factor in two, just in case. Did he go for two? Oh, they always go for two. However... Um, we're not looking too hot now. We killed Red Bull. Lesser known meme. Beat Game and Beaver meme. Uh, however, we could die here. Ho, ho, ho. Three, four, five. So it's got two. It's, it's probably factored in two now. So one, two, three. Uh, and let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. It seems to be a thing. However, Carnotaurus is level 30. Ooh, I think I'm dying two. I think I'm dying two. So, I die in three. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Well, should we just go for an all-out attack? Let's see. Valkyrie's eight attack. How much do we do? 32,000. He's got a block. But, oh, block for one. But let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, it is the same attack. Oh, that, oh, look at that. It's like a sonic boom. <laughs> sonic boom. Sonic boom. Is that a sonic theme song? It's got to be right. And now we get to see it die. Yay. Not the T-Rex. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was killed. Oh, that looks sweet. <gasps> Can I see the boss's die animation? You never see that. You never see. And that looked different, I think. Because normally dinosaurs just like flat on the floor, right? Or maybe not. I just know. <gasps> we got a coin pack, guys. Coin pack. Oh, brilliant. Well, really, you want the VIP points. And it's 30. Oh, God. It's like a mystery bloody pack. Oh, but that doesn't mean we got a mission, though. Whoa, look at that. Some extra of that and 35 bucks of that. Not bad. We're getting close. Um, So, you can get some good DNA from this. So, one legendary, uh, four attacks of five points, and reefs. So, all reefs and at least one legendary. So, here we go. Let's use reefs. So, all reefs and... One legendary. Does that count as a legendary or VIP? I think a VIP counts as a legendary, right? Uh, so there you go. We're halfway to one mission. Because you... Oh, look at this guy. He looks so cool. He just bosses all around. Uh, so we need five attacks. Um, okay, so we're just going to save up. We need to do four attacks of five points. That's it. We'll get there. Right, so keep on going. Here we go. There we go. So next time we should be able to do a five. I just need to do four of those. Um, I would be surprised if we managed to do it all in one go. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's dead. He's patai. There you go. You have, you have to do If you say patai, you have to follow with a slap. <laughs> Means dead. Right, there you go. So that's one out of four done. Whoa, oh, we actually got him. Wait, wait for it. Oh, oh, he's come back to life. Oh. I love these. It's like, I always feel with Jurassic World Live that they can kind of do a lot of different things. But with... Oh, another five. Yes, another five. Let's go. He's probably dead again. Oh, he's not. Okay, good, good, good. With Jurassic World, the game, I always feel like they're kind of in a box, like constrained. Because Jurassic World, uh, the game, is in a way a bit like Jurassic Park Builder, where it was made for a certain kind of device, like that it can be backward compatible quite far. Whereas Jurassic World, um, Jurassic World Alive, maybe not so much because my iPhone boils up when it plays Jurassic World Alive. I mean, it's an iPhone 6 or 10, I don't know. God knows. It's not, it's not like, oh God, never mind. We didn't even get to do anything. Coronosaurus, no. Oh, is that normally what happens? It might be. That you don't even get to see your dinosaur's animations. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, we got two five attacks. Uh, we used three reefs. Uh, we did over a thousand damage. So we're halfway on both of those. 
Um, so team two legendary creatures together. They need to all be reef. And I need to do 5,000 damage. Okay. And then we can do all those mi all those missions at once. So two legendaries that are reefs. Um, oh, hold on. We've got a notice that we haven't like leveled up. Heck yeah, let's go in. Heck yeah, you're going. <laughs> Where is he? Come on, hello, just there you are. How many do I have of you? Ooh, there we go, come on. There, look at that. Beautiful, and we did a mid. Look at the little sardine. Oh, yum. I forget these animations, they're so cool. Oh, it's like part of the, parts of this game that I just completely forgot about. Oh, Like all the unique animations and stuff. There's a lot of love that went into this game, there really is. So there you go, 90. An extra little bit. Um, what was I doing? How was I... Do oh, it was the battle. That's right. That's what it was. Um, so, hold on. T at least two legendaries and all reef. Okay. At least two legendaries, all reef. So where did that put him? Ha ha! I put him really high. So two legendaries, all reef. Um, 3,000 attack. Oh, no! Oh, oh well, we got to see it again. we got to see it again. I want to see his, um, his little, like, waking up animation. He's in a little shadow like, I go sleep. I go sleep. <laughs> right, come on in. Five, two more five attacks. As long as we do 3,000 damage, which honestly isn't a problem. Um, we can even just get that at the end. Um, and I'm sure even just going for like five attacks, we're going to end up doing that anyway. Um, like how much damage is this? 1,700 already. <gasps> Ooh, he comes back. There he is. Oh my God, there's so many, so much thumbnail potential. I love his little picture as well. He looks like Bowser. He's a Bowser. So, there, that's that dead. Ah, um, oh, look at you, Moon. Gorgeous. So, that's that's the five attacks done. The 3,000 damage done. The team two together done. What was the other one? I feel like, was that it? Is there, is there another one? I think we might have just done all the missions. I think we have. Um... I mean, I'll just, I mean, I might as well just get some damage off on him, I suppose. And then that way he can go for like two attacks and just finish me. Finish him. Oh, he can go for four. Never mind. I love the lighting in this place. It looks so good. Right. Okay. So we did 13,000 damage. Oh, yeah. That was everything. Six reefs. I think. Oh, no. In two times. Ah. Now, you need to do so many of these missions. I think it's 10. I think it's 10 missions. So, one cave, block 10 attack points. And t so, I think we can do it. What, what do we need? We need to reach level 7, which will one away, and four missions. So, um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at cave. So, two legendary creatures together, done. And I think that's it. I don't really need to think. And just block. Just do damage and block, I think. All right. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the camera angle speeds up, but, like, I don't know whether it's sped up with the animation. I'm not so sure. So we need a block. That's what we need to do. We need to block 10 points worth of attack. Okay. And do 5,000 damage, which, again, isn't going to be an issue. Oh, I thought he was cave. Aku Akupara. I thought Akupara was uh, was cave. Apparently, I'm wrong. Uh, I thought it was. All right. Let's do some blocks. I think we go for four block, four, four reserve over and over. We'll eventually block 10 points worth. And then we can just open up and do loads of attack. Okay, here we go. So we're on eight now. Uh, and now we can... This is the spam. Now we've got the spam. Yes. Come on, attack me. You know you want to. Six. Ooh, that's a good number. Go attack for six. Go on. That's attacking numbers. Oh, five. So that's four points done. Almost halfway there. And he's only... He's going to have five again. Hopefully, he just keeps on doing it. Oh, no. He's got four. That's not attacking numbers, though. That's not attacking numbers. Uh, yeah. S anything that's six or over, you can almost guarantee they're going to go for an attack. Uh, oh, seven. Ooh. Ooh, that, yeah, I think we've got an attack coming. I think it might be a strong one. Might be a strong one. Oh, it's a seven. Now we're going to see it sped. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we just need a, just a little bit more. I guess we could have attacked him here. <laughs> but I kind of want to block. We all need two more blocks now. Only two more blocks. 
Look at that. Look at the colors on that fish. That is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's proper lush leek. Sure. That's well mint. <laughs> Hold on. If he's going to do seven again, I want to see it in normal, normal speed. Oh, he goes for six. No. He can't. But that was it. That was... That was... 12 block now? Yes, look at him. Cthulhu. You need to do 5,000 damage, Cthulhu. I think you've got it. Oh, he does. Are you going to ink? What do you do? What would a, what would a giant squid do? Oh, it would, it would it would lunge with its with its head, apparently. Is that its head? Because it kind of swims backwards, so wouldn't that be its back? Ooh. 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 Delving into dangerous territory here. What is a cephalopod's anatomy? Is it a cephalopod? I think cephalopod means it's like a crustacean or something that has no shell, I think. God, I don't know. You don't come here to learn. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. So it's 5,000. Uh, one cave and we blocked. Oh, we, I think we've done them all. One mission done. Two missions done. Three missions done. And four missions done. Beautiful, but really... If you want DNA, the only mission you really need to pay attention to is the deal uh, 10,000 damage. That's all you need. And then, oh, we need to get level 10. Oh, okay. Hold on, we got we got to speed up here. So this is the new hybrid that's in the game at the moment. This thing, the Giganocephalus. Um, however, you need 2,000 super DNA for it. I only have 24, and that's because of my super DNA building. Um, otherwise, if you're not a VIP, you can't get Ankylosaur DNA. And this is really weird because normally when a new, new like, hybrid comes out or something, then you have the opportunity to, um, what do you call it? To get that DNA. However, with this one, you don't. So, I'm kind of curious as to whether or not, um... Yeah, we can hatch it. There you go. Put that in. And then, big oh, is there not a deal on anymore? Oh, damn. I was hoping there was still a deal on for this guy. Um, but I think I've just missed it. Ah, it cost a regular amount of money now. Yeah, well, I mean, I've got plenty of it. That's fine. As, as long as I buy it, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I'm wondering whether, like I said, my theory is that Ludia have deliberately not released the DNA for this hybrid so that they can quickly go through their database of games and just, like wipe um any any account or delete any account that has that creature because they've just hacked um but i i mean that's if i was that that would be my way of like jabating the hackers i don't know that that would, if they've done that that's very clever so but i don't know if they have so two super rares uh well actually we don't need missions all we need is to get to level 10 that's all we need so we'll look at caves um i think you know what it is we need 20 reserves. No, we don't need 20 reserves. What am I talking about? James, you're an idiot. So one, two, three. Uh, we just need to do loads of damage to it. That's it. That's all we need. And the, the faster we do damage to it, the better. So I think that'll do. Can we get to level 10? Can we get to level 10? So one reserve straight off the bat. Fine with that. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. Which you should. Yep, there's the two. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now we should be able to kill them in three. Should be 2,000, 2, 4, 6. Yep, so 3 will kill him. And then what we can do is maybe risk it and go for some reserves and then swap out to the other Dacosaur. That's what I'm thinking here. Yeah, they've done so much with this game, man. They've done so much. All the different animations, at, like creatures, environments, effects... They're really putting a lot of effort into this game. And a lot of the times I do forget about it. Which isn't fair, really. Because they, they they have put in a lot, a lot of time and effort into this one. I mean, remember, like, this was... The, when this game came out, it was a big deal. It was a really big deal. Um, because it was the first, like, kind of new game that that was Jurassic Parky that we'd had since Jurassic Park Builder. I thought it was a long time before it. <clears throat> okay, that's at level 9. So all we need to do now is not die, which is actually going to be a lot harder than it seems. And with three attacks... Oh, you, oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's it. I think we killed him. And that's level 10. And I think you can just give up at that point. I mean, he's going to kill me either way. Um, yum, 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 yum. 18,000 damage. 
which is also good because that means that we're going to get more DNA. Now, I did a test on this and I think you can keep on, like, you can get 100 missions, right? And when you complete all the missions, you don't get anything special. You don't get it. I've done it. I've completed all of the raid missions before and never got anything special. Um, but you can't get any more after that. So you could get a hundred of the top one that gives you the most DNA. And to be honest, that's if you if you want to do the, the raid battles for DNA, do it. I don't think it costs anything to enter, does it? I think actually it might. I think it might cost bucks. It might cost, cost bucks to enter. So yeah, I don't really care about that. I mean, 30 DNA, why not? But look at that, 750 though. And the next one is how much DNA? A thousand DNA. Oh, you get so much. And is it five bucks? It's five bucks to enter. And there, oh, look at that. There you go. So that is complete 10 raid events. Oh, I didn't even have those missions. Okay, reach level 10 and seven. And unfortunately, these aren't Ankylosaur DNA. So, I mean, we collect them. And yeah, we, we got like so much. We got thousands, thousands. But... I'm kind of waiting because I know for a fact if I spend any of this, any of it, then they'll bring out a new hybrid and they'll be like, oh, it uses that one. Just like they did with the Raptor as you got Indoraptor and you've also got Indoraptor Gen 2. I don't think any anybody else has anything that is split at the moment, but because that set a precedent, I'm expecting the same to happen. Look at that guy. He's like a big armadillo. It, that just screams Jurassic World Live. It's like, oh, it's got 80% armor or something ridiculous. I want to see a dinosaur with like just really high armor or something like that. But that is going to have to wrap up this video, guys. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.